I got to talk about this. This is wild. This is wild. Okay, so you have this former school dean who was living a double life. He was recruiting students to become members of the Latin Kings gang. So, according to CNN and Reed's former school dean who recruited students for Latin Kings gang, hits his plea agreement for racketeering charge. A former Boston public school, public high school dean and alleged Latin King recruiter pleaded guilty Tuesday to racketeering charges according to a news release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Massachusetts. Sean Harrison entered a plea deal, a plea agreement last week, according to court documents. The plea agreement stated Harrison agreed to enter a guilty plea to conspiracy to conduct enterprise affairs through a pattern of racketeering activity and faces more than 18 years in prison with 36 months of supervised release for a crime. An attorney for Harrison said they have no comment on the case. Harrison worked at Boston's English Academy High School, where he was a dean of academy. Mm, CNN then previously reported, Harrison was previously convicted in 2018 for shooting a student he recruited in the back of the head at point blank range, officials said, and is currently serving a 25-year sentence. Oh, hell no. Officials say Harrison had attempted to murder a student that he had recruited into the gang and who was selling marijuana in high school. While incarcerated, officials say Harrison kept in touch with Latin Kings members, sometimes through jail calls. Joseph R. Bonavolanta, special agent in charge of the Federal Bureau Investigation, Boston Division, said in a statement, This former high school dean and self-professed anti-violence advocate was supposed to be looking out for the best interests of his students, when in reality he was living a double life as a Latin king, engaging in violence while recruiting at risk students to traffic drugs and further the sinuous needs to gain. Mm-hmm. Harrison's sentenced in hearing for the racketeering charge is scheduled for November 15th, 2022, authorities said. Okay, so we're gonna go back. I'm not surprised by this believe it or not i'm surprised that he that he murdered a, per, a person execution style that he, that i'm surprised he did but i'm not surprised about the recruiting and i'm gonna explain to you why a lot a lot a lot of your children and i'm saying this to parents a lot of your children that get involved in gang activity or drugs and activity they're not recruited by people from the hood. I want to make this clear. They're recruited a lot of times by people from schools, particularly schools that are supposedly upstanding private schools, Catholic schools, parochial schools. They are recruited by those. Many times people in the hood don't want to see kids go into a life of crime. They want to see kids go into the legit world because going into the legit world helps out the community. Going to a life of crime, it doesn't really help out. So if a person, a kid, is really talented, whether it's in sports, whether it's academics, or whether it's arts, they want to want that kid to stay out of trouble. I've personally seen OGs in the neighborhood tell young boys, Get the hell off the corner now. Go to school. Go to after school. Do an activity, but get the hell off this corner. Okay? Particularly those that had talent, had a brain. They would tell us females, you know, stay away from these guys that you know, trying to just, you know, get in your pants and want to knock you up with a baby. A lot of times it's the OGs that really keep you in check. Now, I can't speak for other people's experiences, but I can tell you, I know for a fact, a lot of these people who was recruited in gangs, and it, and especially in drug gangs, they were recruited from schools, okay? Now, how I know these things is because I've had people personally tell me. And I had people who basically transferred out from different schools in New York City back way back in the days when I was a teen. So that they could get out of that situation. 
Now, with the Sean Harrison man, I find it interesting that he's a Latin king. I don't know if he's, he seems like he's half Hispanic, but he looks Hispanic. But he might have, like, a, he has an English last name. Um, I'm not familiar with Boston. I want to say that. I'm not a Bostonite. I'm a Harlemite. But um, what I do know is that he was a gang leader who actually probably was sent by the gang to actually go to school to recruit teens to basically keep the gang alive, at least in Boston. That's what that was about. And they probably, you know, pinned him in to basically do what he had to do. You know, go go to school, you know, get your bachelor's and get your master's. And, you know, start working in high school so you can recruit from within. But see, where he messed up, he execution style murdered a teen. You know, you got to be careful with the people that you have around your kids. And a lot of times, like I said, it's not the so quote unquote gangster. Is not the quote unquote flashy drug dealer. A lot of times it's the basketball coach. I hate to say it. It's the T it's the um it's I don't wanna say coach. It's the people that are sub that are looked upon as leaders and trustworthy in the community. Because that's the best place where they can hide. It's, it's horrible. It's really horrible. So with that being said, he's already serving 25 years. He just got to serve more time. They're going to get him. And I bet you, you know, he got protection in jail because he's a Latin king. <laughs> and I can personally tell you that with Latin kings, and you're in prison, and you're Hispanic, they are going to either bring you in to the gang, or they're going to have you around nothing but Hispanics. Even if you're half, they can look at you, and they know who you are, because they did it to my father. So... Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. And I know that more than likely the kid he killed was Hispanic. And this is just tacky. It's just sad. It's just sad. But um, they need to start doing complete background checks on people in the education system. And with, and with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of the day.